Yeah, title of the video says it all. Downside to winning the Daytona 500. But first, I'm going to talk about the upside for Jimmy Johnson, Chad Canals, and the Hendrick Motorsports Lowe's Racing Team. $1.5 million is a pretty good upside. Uh, almost max points. He didn't lead the most laps, so maximum points is 47. 43 for winning, 3 point bonus, plus 1 for leading any lap, doesn't matter what lap, green or caution. Matt Kenseth actually led the most laps, plus the point going into the chase, that will count at, in the chase. Okay, that all sounds good, don't it? Of course, you know, the, another Hendrick Motorsports car. Dale Earnhardt Jr. come in second, made $1.1 million, and Hendrick, his other car, or one of his other cars got wrecked, and Casey Kane and Jeff Gordon may have had an engine problem caused by losing water. But, all in all, but plenty of upside to winning the Daytona 500. You're known as the Daytona 500 champion. That title sticks with you. In Jimmy's case, it's now two-time Daytona 500 champ. So is he going to be known as five-time or two-time? I think he'll stick with five-time. Of course, they're wanting the six-pack of championships. As they, he was on Race Hub Monday night, the day after the race, and said that him and Chad Knauss have a, crew chief Chad Knauss have a thing about the time 6.48, whether it be a.m. or p.m., and, of course, the car number 48, they want that sixth championship. Okay, so let's get away from that for a minute. Is there a downside to winning the Daytona 500? Yes. Think back to last year, the infamous jet dryer incident, where Juan Pablo Montoya had something break on the car under caution, went sideways, hit the jet dryer, the race was red flagged for an extended period of time, well, Roger Penske, car owner for Brad Keselowski, and at that time A.J. Allmendinger, now Joey Logano, was on the spotter stand along with Tommy Baldwin, car owner last year for Dave Blaney and this year for Blaney and J.J. Yaley. Both had good runs in the 500. Roger Penske comes up to Tommy Baldwin and says, Tommy, Roger Penske, I don't believe, thought, and I didn't either, thought the race would ever restart. It was past halfway. It was up in the wee hours of the morning by the time it finished. Remember, first time in the history of Daytona, they had to go to a rain date. Had never happened before. Been rain shortened before. But, and Tommy Baldwin said, hey, I need parts off this car. Remember, the fuel injection was just coming in to go to Phoenix. And what Roger Penske was referring to is the winning car from the Daytona 500 on the day after the race is rolled into the Daytona USA to go on display for a year. Motor, the whole nine yards, goes in. If there's television cameras in that car, I understand they stay in there. All TV networks could probably get their way, but but so Tommy Baldwin said that. So now most teams, Jimmy Johnson's car has to go in the museum till right before next year, the 2014 Daytona 500. Which means most teams run the same cars at Daytona and Talladega. The arrow, as much arrow as they're allowed to do on these cars, they try to keep it fairly simple. But with parts, body parts being reported in short supply, plus teams needing body panels to either rebuild or build new cars or rebuild wrecked cars. Now you look, here's Dale Earnhardt Jr. and the Steve Letartled team in second. That car may have had to go back to the R&D Center, but it will certainly be released well in time for Talladega to come through pretty much unscathed. Mark Martin in fourth and the Michael Walter 55 car. Not sure who's going to drive it to Talladega. Or Mark Martin in third. But they've got that car to race, although Martin had some wrecks so, during speed weeks. Then you got Brad Keselowski, although damaged a little bit in fourth. But again, that, that car was fast enough. It couldn't have been hurt too bad, mainly cosmetic, fairly easy to fix. But 
So yeah, there's a downside to winning Daytona. Upside, you're known as the Daytona 500 champion, all the media blitz. Remember two years ago, Trevor Bain went, had nothing but blue jeans and t-shirts with him in Daytona. Had to go out and buy clothes for all the appearances on shows like Good Morning America and so on. But just been, I know this sounds odd to say there's a downside to winning a race, but there is actually a downside to winning Daytona. I've often wondered if a driver thought he could win, and especially if he's won it before, and say, well, you know, I'd like to have this car for Talladega. Just my thoughts. Agree, disagree, comment, like, dislike, 